Okay, I'm going to show you the overview of how this gets installed on your bike. Okay, so this is what they call a neck on neck rake. All right, um, so I'm going to show you what it looks like installed on my bike. I'm going to show you how the thing gets assembled. So let me spin it. Okay, so those two pieces that I was just holding in my hand are this and that. And the bolt that goes through those two pieces goes through the neck on your bike, right through here, okay? You absolutely have to pull the bearing and the race out of it, okay? The race absolutely has to come out, and that's probably one of the most difficult parts of doing this job is getting that race out. Some of them come out easy, and some of them are an absolute bitch. So, I'm gonna show you how this goes together. So, you can see it here. This is the top. Your steering head bearing goes up in here. This bolt right here is what holds it all together. So unscrew it and I'll show you. So once you get your bike completely disassembled and the bearing and the race is removed from the neck, this piece is going to go on there. Okay. This is the bottom, the bigger one, top, smaller one. Run your bolt up to the bottom of the bottom one. This keyed piece, you can see it's got like a notch on each end of it. There's a notch built right into this that that lines up in. So it keeps those two pieces aligned once you have it completely assembled. This is threaded. That's what the bolt goes into. And that creates your, your extended neck. This all gets tightened down on your your neck. I think it's 220 pounds of foot torque they tell you to use on it. There's a video on YouTube of um, cool the guy from Cool Metal assembling the whole thing. Okay, so this bearing it's going to be in this bag right here in this bag. Goes in the top is your steering head bearing. There's already a race in here. And when you attach this triple tree to it, it comes up through the bottom like this. So this creates your neck on neck rake. Your steering head bearing comes right up through there. And when you tighten this all down, the steering head nut this becomes your new pivot point. This plate goes on top, all assembled. Um, I'll have the nuts that compress the plates together and the steering head nut in a baggie in this box over here. And I ship it to you. And when you're all done, your gauge package goes on top like that. So, let me do, you can see, here's the new neck, here, and here, and here's where your steering shaft comes through, and here's your tubes for your forks to come up into, all your pinch bolts holding in place, it's pretty self-explanatory once you get that far, but the most important thing is you have to get that race out of the neck, do not leave that in there when installing, alright?